G'day, it's Danny again. Today we're going to have a look at uh, the modern day four wheel drive and some of the repercussions you get uh, with a bit of a lift. So this one's new to our fleet, it's a 2018 Toyota Fortuna GXL. We were lucky enough to get the opportunity to update one of our vehicles with the growing family. Always love the Forerunner, the Forerunner being basically a station wagon Hilux. Fortuna resembles that in so many ways. Uh, we've lifted this one up, we did a TJM lift on it, uh, we got probably 65-70mm lift. Uh, we've got a steel Rhino bar on it, the tow bar on the back. We're going to set it up primarily for basic family outings. Um, it's going to tow the Jayco to the four-wheel drive competitions while the 79 tows the comp truck. Uh, we've, uh, we've, we've come across a little vibration. The vibration is ever so slightly noticeable on takeoff, up to probably 15 kilometers an hour. It's like you're on a bit of a bumpy road and then it sort of goes away. So it's telling you that the center bearing's not happy at takeoff. The old LN106s used to have this issue many years back and we basically just pulled that center bearing out and built one piece shafts. And so the center bearing is basically fixed to that cross member there, which is fixed to the chassis. So what we've actually done is we've changed the angle from the pinion to that center bearing part. So it realistically on this vehicle, it's actually not in the center. So it's called a center bearing and yes it is in the center but it's not. So from the, from the transfer case back to that point isn't a great deal different. But that longer length running back to that pinion there, it has increased a lot. So they're the bolts that I'm going to undo and we'll throw the spaces in. This is a Dobinson kit. The instructions are quite vague and a little bit generic. So what I've done, I've loosened one side and I've dropped the other completely and it really did want to come down. So what we'll do is we'll pop this spacer in between that and then bolt it back up. There's two different size bolts depending on what you need. So we're going to throw one in before I lock tight anything on and then uh, we'll run it around the block. And there's actually no tension on that at all. So it's basically a tail shaft. All, all your tension's at the two ends. So a very easy mod. Took me less than 15 minutes. So let's run it around the block and see. But the issue with this vehicle, the way we're setting it up, we're towing with it too. So when I hook up my Jayco to the back, it drops about 60 mil. So the chassis's gonna fall back to its probably original position. But you know, 90% of the time, 99% of the time, she won't be towing, so it gets rid of that vibration. Let's run around the block. I only had to drive to the end of my street and I'm straight away that's gone. That's awesome, that's totally fixed it. I might still put the second one in with a longer bolt and just to see, but for this weekend, uh, the chassis is gonna come down the 60 odd mil that the, the ball weight um, brings it down in any case. But it's back to being like a lush car, like an unlifted car. I mean, it's auto. You just cruise, it's beautiful, the steering's nice, and um, you wouldn't actually know you've got a lift. It still handles very nicely, so I'm very happy. There you go, a little bit of uh, hidden knowledge on how to get that vibration out after lifting. And to be quite honest, my wife didn't even pick it. I picked it straight away. And um, again, thanks for watching.